Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting, and it's pay dirt review time again. And this time we're going to be reviewing a really new seller, or new to me anyway, and that's CulverProspecting.com, and more specifically, his Rattlesnake Gulch Bag. So I'm pretty excited to go through this. I always do like panning out new sellers for the first time to see where they start off at, and then maybe in the future, see how they've progressed. And now before I go any further into this video, I do need to thank today's sponsors, which are my Patreon members. So thank you all very much, including my newest Patreon members, Alex Lyman, Brian Phillips, Redman00039, and Troublesome. So thank you for joining my Patreon page. And if anyone else is interested in supporting this channel, you can go check me out at patreon.com forward slash Miller Prospecting. And now let's just flash up the description for this Brattlesnake Gulch bag. Go to the overhead and check it out a little bit closer. As you saw, a really good description with a lot of information. So really happy with that. And one of the things they do say in the description is that you should get up normally about one pound of pay dirt. So let's weigh it up. And it is well over that at one pound, 15 ounces. We'll open this up. Use the scissors, make things easy. I will rinse out the bag before the end of the video, just in case anything got trapped in it. And it also says in the description that this is mostly going to be river gravels, which is what it looks like. We'll check it for magnetite. And it is definitely heavy in magnetite. So uh, also Buffalo nickel, we'll put that on the side, but let's go classify this down and be right back. Okay, all done classifying. And the reason I classify my material down in my videos is so my viewers can see what size the material comes in and then later in the video, see what size the gold I recover is in. And this will make it easier for someone with a visual aid, judge on how difficult a bag of pay dirt will be. If you see there's a lot of minus 40 material and a lot of minus 40 gold, then you know it's probably going to be a really difficult bag to pan out. Whereas with a bag like this, if there's a lot of material in the plus 10 and you end up finding a lot of gold in the plus 10, then the rest of this will be a lot easier to pan out because you know there's not going to be as much gold in it. And as I stated a second ago, this bag does have a lot of plus 10 material in it. The lower three classifications have about the same amount of material, but there's about twice as much in the plus 10. And with this being a one gram bag of pay dirt that was described as difficult, I'm not expecting to find too much gold in this plus 10, but we'll have to see. I have been surprised before, but the only way to really find out is to pan it out. So let's go get some water and do just that. Maybe last night was a tired or was it apathy? My mind's so numb, I didn't even try to fake a dream. It's funny how a good night's sleep can make you feel so all alone. Longing for the sleepless nights alone. Used to be, I couldn't catch a wink, yeah, my mind refused to pause. Stops are racing, hard of pace, and that stock in sun or rising top. It's funny how a sleepless night can remind you you're alive. Toss and turn it, feeling through the night. Give me that heartache, tear me up inside. Show me my mistakes to occupy my mind. Your favorite childhood memories, tales of love and in between to keep me tossing turning tossing turning feeling through the
Well, finished panning everything out as you saw, and the end of that was a little bit difficult, but we'll talk about that in a minute. For right now, let's show you the gold I found. And there it is. I found a lot of gold in the plus 10. I didn't think I would. I even said, think twice, that one grand bag, I wouldn't find that much in the plus 10, but I did. I need to stop opening my mouth. And I did find gold in every classification, which is always a good thing. But let's start weighing this up. We're going to start with the plus 10. And again, I am guaranteed one gram, and that's pretty much it right there. 0 0.980. So we're definitely going to get over the gram just by how much. We'll have to see. 0 0.13. So we're about 0.1 over the gram. Minus 20 plus 40. 0 0.070. We'll do the minus 40. I'm not sure this is going to budge a scale. There is a little bit here. Yeah, not enough. Let's weigh it all up. See how much we got. one point one eight zero grams of rattlesnake gutch gold now for this bag from culver prospecting it really wasn't too difficult until you got to the minus 40. there was only a little bit of minus 40 gold but there was a little bit of black sands so for a beginner i'm going to give this a medium but for an advanced or expert panner, this is easy material to go through. For an advanced panner, you might have a little bit harder time, obviously, than an expert. But if you go slow, it shouldn't be too hard. Just be careful when you hit that minus 40. All right, finish calculating my ROI, writing up my review, and let's get right to it. Now, again, I went through a one gram bag of rattlesnake gulch from culverprospecting.com. Its cost was $85, shipping was free, so the total cost for my secret shopper was $85. And as you saw earlier in this video, I recovered 1.180 grams of gold. And the gold spot on the day that this was purchased by my secret shopper was $64.43, making the gold I found worth $76.03, giving me an ROI of 89.45% or on my scale an 8.9. Now for fun factor, I'm gonna give it the exact same as the ROI an 8.9. Nothing blew me away and definitely nothing took away from it to lower the score, so 8.9. For Pater description, he's getting a 10. It is a very detailed description, pretty much telling you everything you could possibly want to know about this Pater. For quantity and packaging, he's also getting a 10. It was over the one pound stated in the description, and it was actually triple bagged. So really good packaging for this. So 10 score. And lastly, for customer service and shipping, he's getting a 10 as well. The customer service was excellent, and it shipped out incredibly fast. So yet again, another 10. Giving Culver Prospecting's Rattlesnake Gulch a total score of 9.6. So a great score. I think this is about as good of a score as you can expect from any Patriot seller. I don't expect 100% ROIs. Getting an over 80% ROI, getting an over 8 on a fun factor, and then all the other stuff being 10s, I think this is about as good as you can get. So would I order or recommend this bag of pater? Most definitely. It's a great bag of pater. And even if you think it might be too difficult for you, the amount of minus 40 gold didn't even budge the scale. So you can always go back and try later to get that out. You'll definitely be getting what you paid for out of the larger gold. So it's definitely a bag I would recommend. And I definitely plan on buying more of it in the future. But that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Happy panning. And if you're not already a subscriber, think about hitting that subscribe button below.